Hi, in this problem, we are going to try to integrate this. So we have 16 cosine squared w minus 81 sine squared w. It's all being divided by 4 cosine w minus 9 sine w. And so to do this, we're going to try to do something here with the numerator, maybe factor it so that we can get rid of this bottom piece. So there's a familiar formula that says if you have a squared minus b squared, that's equal to parentheses a minus b times a plus b. And this is the difference of squares formula. So we're gonna try to apply that here. So to do that, you wanna think of the 16 cosine squared uh, as follows. I'm gonna go ahead and show an intermediate step. So this is really four cosine w squared it's same thing because you square the four and you square the cosine minus nine sine w squared. Same thing, right? Because nine squared is 81 and then sine squared is sine squared. All divided by four cosine w minus nine sine w dw. Okay, so now we can use the difference of squares formula. This piece here is our a, and this piece here is our b. So it's a minus b times a plus b according to the formula. So it's the integral of parentheses four cosine w minus nine sine w. That's our a minus b. And then a plus b would be four cosine w plus 9 sine w, parentheses, all being divided by 4 cosine w minus 9 sine w, and then we have the dw here. And this works out really nice because now we can cancel this, so we have the integral of parentheses 4 cosine w plus 9 sine w dw. Okay, now we just have to integrate this. So when you're integrating these, the constants are in front of the functions, so they hang out. So the integral of cosine is going to be sine, and that's because the derivative of sine is cosine. So we drop the integral sine. This is 4 sine w, and then we're integrating sine, so we want to think backwards. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this is gonna be a negative cosine. And that's because if you differentiate this, you're gonna get a negative sine, but there's already a negative here, and then the double negative will turn into a positive. So integral of sine is negative cosine, plus our constant of integration capital C. And so that would be the answer to this problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.